honor our veterans, the heroes who died defending freedom. Well, one man from Lorain County does it the only way he knows how, by painting. News 5's Sarah Finney joins us from Amherst with a look at his latest work. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Terrence, the side of this building in downtown Amherst has been transformed over the past six years. The first massive mural honored those who fought in World War II. The second, the Korean War. Third, the Vietnam War. And lastly, servicemen from Lorain County who were killed in Iraq and Afghanistan will be remembered here, too. It's meaningful and emotional as well. Picture in hand. Just kind of sketching it out right now. Mike Seclatar studies the details. Try to get them, you know, to their likeness. The faces of 10 Lorain County servicemen. Shepherd, Smetters. Coming back to life. I kind of feel like I do know him a little bit. Right now, he's focusing on Eric Barnes. The airman was killed by an IED in 2007 while serving his second tour in Iraq. Sometimes it feels like yesterday. Sometimes it feels like it's been longer. His parents, Sherry and Tom Barnes, have filled their home with medals, mementos, and memories of the 20-year-old who gave his life for our country. One photo stands out. He's just sitting there with that big old smile on his face, and that, that was Eric. That's why they gave it to Seclatar and are now watching his bright smile and special eyes reappear stroke by stroke. When Eric would smile, his left eye would shut just a tiny, tiny little bit. And that's the first thing I looked at. When I looked at that face, that was what I saw. Small, meaningful details immortalized by Seclatar and soon to be seen by family, friends, and strangers. All of them were doing what they loved to do, and they died doing it, and we just want everybody to remember them. And you are taking a live look at the final painting of Eric Barnes, an uncanny resemblance to that photo. Two other servicemen who were killed are being honored with a battlefield cross uh, with dog tags as well. Uh, they don't have uh, pictures up here, but that's the way Cyclotar wanted to honor them. The service is Saturday at 11. This will all be revealed then. Hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer, but a big crowd is expected here in downtown Amherst. Live in Amherst, Sarah Finney, News 5. Thank you, Sarah.